The cousin of one of Australia's most notorious prisoners has been executed in a shootout in Sydney's southwest. Another man was seriously injured. Both victims are alleged members of the Brothers for Life crime gang, which has been under close police scrutiny. Just after midnight, rapid gunfire was heard coming from this housing complex at Reevesby in Sydney southwest. 25-year-old Mahmoud Hamzi died at the scene. We're satisfied that there was more than one weapon used in the shooting. We're also satisfied that there were at least three people involved. He's the cousin of maximum security prisoner Bassam Hamzi, who recently had his jail sentence extended for directing criminal activity from prison on a mobile phone. A 24-year-old man suffered gunshot wounds to the leg and stomach. The incident happened in a garage just metres away from family homes. It's, it's really scary. Like. Following the shootings, a man who police say lives in the same home as the victims left the scene. A bit of fireworks. Fireworks. Uh... Pretty serious fireworks. What does the number plate mean? New, New Year's Eve came early. It's just utterly insensitive. His cousin's been murdered and he, uh, he feels it's a light matter. Authorities were also unimpressed at this number plate, an acronym for Middle Eastern Organised Crime. Police say although the gang call themselves Brothers for Life, they act more like brothers for a day. Members often fight amongst themselves, which makes tracking down the killers more complicated. Nick Caldas described the Brothers for Life group as cowards who only attack and extort in large numbers. And I have to say, um, probably not very good at what they do. There have been 13 drive-by shooting fatalities in New South Wales over the last year, but police say the streets have been relatively quiet in recent months. That might be about to change if reprisals follow Mahmoud Hamzi's murder. David Spicer, ABC News, Sydney.